and violence and other kind of violence. District. Police continue to search for suspects in a shooting that injured a three year old girl and a 13 year old boy. And tonight, the mother of that young girl speaking about the dramatic moments in front of the Northeast home. Fox Rise Lindsay Watts alive with that interview. Lindsay. Both of those kids are expected to be okay, and three year old Shakur is already out of the hospital. Take a look. Her mom says a bullet grazed her daughter's head as she was playing outside. Police say it was around 8.45 last night when a car drove by and fired a shot at people here on 18th Street Northeast, a block from Benning Road. Also injured, a 13-year-old boy who witnesses say was shot in the leg by the same bullet that hit Shakur. Here's Shakur's mother, Diamond, describing what happened. One gunshot, I heard, pow. And I immediately, like, my baby run, running towards me, and I seen the blood trickling down her foot. All I could do was, like, apply pressure to my baby head. That's all I'm thinking, because I don't know how deep this wound is. I don't know what happened. I didn't even know that my neighbor's son had got shot, and I could have lost my baby. My heart hurts. I wouldn't, this is some, a pain that I would never get over. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. She started to show us the wound on her daughter's head, but it's obviously still very sensitive, even though the bandages are off. She says Shakur does understand what happened and has told her, somebody shot me, mommy. There were other kids around as well last night, including Shakur's two teenage sisters. We spoke to one of them off camera soon after the shooting. It was like, she bleeding, she bleeding, she got shot, she got shot. And so I seen her and all I could think of, like, what if she die? Like, what if she die? That's all I'm thinking about. So much trauma for these families. The sister of the little boy who was shot was out there as well. All this happening about a half mile away from where six people were shot a week before this shooting. One of those people was killed. That was at 15th and F Streets, Northeast. No arrests in that case either. As far as the shooting last night, police only saying that they're looking for a dark colored Nissan with tinted windows. If you have any information, contact police and help find the person who hurt these kids. Back to you.